to the cloud. Here we are. Okay, so um, I will get all to the tech stuff here in just a minute, but I wanted to talk about like celebrations, of course, first. Um, I always like to start off with like, woo woo, good momentum. So, um, Awesome job already this month. We're not even halfway through and we've already got people with points on the board, which is super exciting. And to be honest, I got to give a big old shout out to those believers over there because you guys are crushing it. I know Tanil's not on here yet, so I'm going to have to say that again um, when she jumps on because she deserves to hear that. I, I I actually messaged it to her today, but I just was like, man, like your team is killing it. I was like, Look at all the people with the points on the board. I was like, it's Jenna, Ellen, Bethany, Becky, Tanil. I was like, that's you guys, um, which is just super exciting. And like, and then even just to like, I don't know, just so many of you guys are just kicking ass over there. And I think that's just a reflection of the leadership too, you know? Um, you know, Tanil loves what she does. And like, I think that's the really amazing part about it is like, a reflect her team is a reflection of her and that's how I feel it will happen is if you guys truly believe your people will find you right like if you really put in that work and that effort like they will come you just have to believe and have faith that you're tr you trust yourself and that you're making the right decisions and you're being authentic with yourself and it will happen so um, I'm going to restate probably that when Tanil jumps on. She's jumping on here in just a couple minutes. And um, I just want to give her a big old shout out for like truly leading her team. And like, man, when that girl first joined me, I love her to death. She was like, I don't know any of this. I'm like, dude, I'm going to teach you. Don't worry. Like, it's going to take time. So you're going to learn it. And she was just like, I don't know. I'm just going to sign people up. I was like, just do that. We'll learn the rest of it along the way. <laughs> and like, here she is like literally like running this huge team. Um, to Neil, Hey, I'm bragging on you, by the way. Um, I was talking about, I was like, I'm about to do celebrations. And I was like, can we just talk about the fact that this is to Neil's team that we're about to celebrate? Because these are all believers right now. I was like, it is so amazing to be like, um, the, the, production that's coming from your team is just that's a reflection of who you are and like all the work that you've done over the two years and so i hope you're just super proud of them because they have been kicking ass it's super cool to see like even mike mentions it he'll be like who's that i'd be like that's one of the meals coaches <laughs> like he'll be like what i'm like i know <laughs> and so it's just really cool to celebrate them and celebrate you and for it to be part of me as well so it's just like all the feels trickle down and it's super cool so shout out to your freaking team because you have jenna who has success club six ellen at success club four Tanil, you're at success club two bethany and becky or bethany at success club two becky at success club three and then i'm sneaking in there with success club two as well so Pretty exciting. Hope you guys, there's still plenty of time in the month to hit Success Club. And I'll tell you what, man, there was a long time where I didn't hit Success Club till like the last couple of days of the month. Like sometimes oh. it just, ha oh yeah. I mean, I had like literally, Mike knows I've been sitting, you know, night of the 31st being like, it's only 10 a, it's 10 in the East Coast and it's this time in the All Pacific. For, like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just like win that little bonus. But it's just a goal that I had set for myself a long time ago was to hit success club and it's just something that i've never like removed from myself it's always a goal that i just feel like i have to have Whatever it keeps me accountable see. each month um by the way alicia hey y'all signing up a coach how exciting congratulations <laughs> that is super cool uh we'll see on time <laughs> um Okay, so that's super cool with team um, celebrations. And then I'm going to move over, unfortunately, you guys, to some boo-hoo news, but I think the majority of us know what it is. Um, just to make sure everybody knows that Summit did get canceled for this year, which is in July. Um, unfortunately, that's, gosh, two success club trips, two summits, a leadership conference that I've all had canceled with Beachbody. And trust me, it is 
devastating. It is hard. I know um, some of you guys may have been really, really looking forward to it. I know even just like thinking of Tenille, Tenille's never been able to be to a single Beachbody event her whole time coaching, you know, been with us for two years and here it is. It's like, you never even got to experience anything, you know, at least a couple of us girls that got to experience summit can like hold on to that, like that memory of like what it was. And we just try to hold on to that feeling we had. And then I know there's a ton of you girls that were really looking forward to it being your first speech body event. And so you guys, I, I'm so sorry, you know, it sucks for sure. Um, I freaking cried because I was just like, so sad that like, again, this got stripped from you guys and from me, you know, um, I don't know why I'm crying again. Well, I do, but it's like, I'm just trying to talk, <laughs> um, but <laughs> I cry all the time, but just go with it. I can keep talking. It's cool. <laughs> um, but it's really unfortunate. And so I, you know, I love that Tanil was like, all right, next, 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 what's next. Okay. How can we fix, like, how can we fix this? I love that attitude. I love that we kind of all have that attitude too. It's just like, how can we fix this? What else can we do? Let's move on. Let's make it better. Let's make it bigger. And so I'm on the hunt right now. Don't worry. Um, I will have an answer or some sort of idea for you guys by the end of this week end ish. Um, I have a couple things in the works. I'm just waiting to hear back from some things and um, we'll see. Okay. Um, just give me a little bit of time to kind of make some arrangements. If you have ideas or you have suggestions, feel free to send them my way. Um, but I have put a couple feelers out there. And so I'm just waiting back to hear, hear back from them and see what we can come up with. My goal, you guys, is to have a cheaper experience for you guys so more people can come okay um even if that means a i'm i was like man the money i was gonna spend at summit on a plane ticket in my hotel and how many hundred dollars i was gonna spend probably at the core i was like i will freaking throw that money in and get us a freaking badass place like whatever we have to do to have fun and be able to be together and you guys not have to pay that much and just be able to come. So that's what I'm looking um, into doing. So just stick with me while I kind of figure all the details of that out. So I want it to be cheap for you guys. So you guys can just come and have fun and we can be together because man, I tell you what, I'm so sick and tired of sitting in front of a computer talking to you guys. Like <laughs> I love you guys and zoom has been amazing, but like I need to like see you guys like I need to like see your bodies okay like I am done talking to a screen and I think even just like having that to look forward to in July will just be just something nice for us to just continue pulling towards and working towards so that's my goal for summit 2021 is to have a virtual but in-person experience for the ones that can make it or um that are okay with it. So whatever you guys choose, I'm totally okay with. Also, you did not have to have a summit ticket to go to our retreat summit. So like, if you had just joined coaching and like, you're like, Hey, I didn't even have a summit ticket, but I would love to go to that retreat. Or you just signed up a new coach. That's something that they're that's open to. You didn't have to like have a summit ticket. And actually maybe we'll have more girls be able to go to the retreat. than we're actually able to go to summit. Who knows? So we'll see. Okay. Um, but just let me know if you're on the fence, a total in, um, total no, like, just let me know so I can kind of start looking for um, places because like, it's a big difference looking for like a 20 person place or like a 12 person place, mm -hmm. much different. So um, just let me know. Okay, guys, I know that's kind of like a split decision, like, hey, by the way, want to go to a retreat <laughs> instead? Um, that's why I want to keep it the same dates as well to just be like, okay, if you were already planning on coming, you can keep that time scheduled and come anyway. And so, um, it's probably not going to work for everybody. Okay. Um, I'm sorry, but we're just going to have to kind of make it what we can. And so I think we're just going to have to work with the dates that we had for summit and that's the best route for us to go for that. Okay. Um, if you have any questions, suggestions, um, problems, anything like that, like I know Kristen was like, Hey, I didn't get my email, just something like that. If something like this is coming up, just message me or message the group and we'll just get it figured out. We can do live chats. We can do all kinds of stuff. Okay. Okay. Bummer on the summit. Boo. I had my moment, but we're going to move on and we're going to make it even freaking better. Warrior freaking summit 
retreat. Yeah, I'm looking for a place with a pool. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, okay, so next on to, I had been getting stuff uh, ready for taxes. Okay, so if you guys are, if you made over $600 with Beachbody, which means you can go into your coach account, it's a little bit easier, I think, to see it on a desktop, go into your commission checks, go into weekly and add up last year, or I think if you can do like a year to date or whatever, um, and just see if you made over $600 in commission. If you know you haven't, then no problem. If you think you have, go in there and just double check. If you have, you should have received, oh shoot, I just said it, I said all my stuff over there by the door, but you should have received a 1099 from Beachbody that says how much you got paid. If you did not get that, I need you to message me. I will walk you through how to reissue that form. I already had to help somebody do it. They didn't get there. She's like, hey, I made like a thousand bucks with Beachbody. I was like, go here, go here, go here. And then I'm going to follow up with her, make sure that she, um, got it submitted and everything. So if that's happening to you, just, I just got to reach out. Okay. So I know this is like kind of a, well, I, I'm not very good with taxes. And actually Mike and I, we're going to go have somebody do our taxes this year. Cause this is the first time we're going to file together. Um, and so I'm like, I don't really know how to do all that. I'm like, can we just like pay somebody to do that? Like, ugh. and we're like, absolutely. It was like, okay, thank you. <laughs> So that's my plan. So what I did though today is I printed off everything I could possibly think of as a write-off. Okay. okay. So I went into my team beach body, um, my personal orders and I printed off that report. So I printed off all my personal orders because you can write off anything that you had purchased with beach body. Okay. So Shakeology, performance, uh, VIP access, cookbooks, like whatever the heck you did. Um, Miles were women gathering. What do you mean to know? What's that one? Oh, I'm just saying when we get together once a month and drive to like our gatherings or like our 5K or driving anywhere, like I just drove and delivered that goodie bag to Brooke. Like all those miles are write offs. Yep, absolutely. So Mike writes off our truck for his business, so I can't claim that, but I claim our rent because I have a home office and our utilities, our Wi-Fi, my cell phone bill. I, I claim both of those on my taxes just because I'm using like, <laughs> I use so much Wi-Fi, you guys, it's insane. Um, and then I claim my phone because I work from my phone. Um, and so anytime I've upgrade or anything like that. So what I did is I have like all my bank statements. Um, like here's one for actually this year. And so what I do is I actually have them send them to me. And then I can go through and be like, okay, this was groceries. I use my groceries for my clean eating group. Yes, that means you can write off your groceries, okay? Um, I have, um, anytime I go to like the UPS store to send out gifts or to send out samples, I have all of those. So I go through and I circle those. Um, any kind of beach body order, any kind of, um, what else did I have? Okay, so then I, I'm gonna go grab it. Actually, hold on, I got a paper. Let me grab it. When I met with our tax guy, um, he said we couldn't write off the personal use. But my thing is, is that when I invest in Shakeology and get packages and get, you know, individual packages of Energize, I use those for gifts for like teachers or, you know, fit warriors. So um, maybe we can't write off our monthly Shakeology, but we can write off bits and pieces of it too. Yeah, you guys, so I have, let's see, I have all my Zoom payments because I pay for unlimited Zoom. So I use that. Um, my Audible because I use that for my personal development. My video editor because I use that for all of my videos. Um, I also use my like makeup bags that I get because I use a lot of those for gifts for girls. Um, any like packaging that I purchased from Amazon. Wow. I just printed off my Amazon order history and just like circled the ones that were like for, remember when we did those like gifts for all the nurses and stuff like that? Like I circled all of that stuff. Um, I also, unfortunately this year we didn't really have much traveling, but normally I would have 
summit plane tickets you know all of that stuff kind of added in there too like from the year before i did um and then i bought a computer this year uh so just all of that stuff i'm adding up i'm just getting proof of purchase and then we're taking it in and having somebody do it for us um so i will keep you updated on like what they say because i've never actually had anybody here can you go go in your room I'm you're distracting me behind me. I keep looking at you, what you're doing. Um, so just wanted to run that by you guys. Start collecting that information, okay? Start printing it out, start getting a hold of it. And also my plan is to start prepping for that, right? So I don't have to sit down and one day try to find it all. My goal is to every month when I get my bank statement, I just circle it all, put it in an envelope keep it all on track then next year i'm just like boom there's my tax envelope here's all my receipts done you know i don't have to backtrack and find all that stuff so um i have not been very good at it in the past i haven't made a ton in the past either so it was always kind of like easy write-offs like i just literally just write off like my easy stuff but now i'm starting to make a little bit more and so i need to make sure i have and i didn't travel as much so i had to really really buckle down and be like okay what do i need to write off to make sure that it balances out and everything so if you have questions i'm not going to lie you guys i'm not a tax person and i hate numbers so i can't 100 guarantee i'm the best person to come to but i will try and we will figure it out together or i will find the answer for you okay um and together we will learn that and someday you'll be like remember when she didn't even know what she was doing i'm like yeah <laughs> and we'll get it all figured out okay um i think that was the only thing that i want to talk to you guys about i just wanted to celebrate talk about summit and then talk about taxes. And then actually Tamil is gonna take it from here. She's got some fun stuff she wants to talk to us about. And she's coming off those high vibes of teaching her new class, which is super exciting, you guys. We, I don't know if we've really had a warrior step up that much and take on classes. I think that's super cool. And to be able to be in person, I'm actually, I'm super jealous. I'm, I miss being with people for sure. <laughs> so go ahead, lady. Woo! Yes, I, um, my class was off the hook today, tonight. Um, I don't even know how many girls I had. Let me see. I'll count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, including me. So, and I had a couple new girls tonight show up and, um, I listened to Jenny and Tessa today about fueling my body correctly. So on Tuesday, when I um, went to my workout class, my Fit Warriors, I felt it. I was tired. Um, I talked through my whole workout and it was still fun. It was still energetic. I was still hooting and hollering, but my body, it felt like I was in a cloud and like I couldn't keep up. Like I couldn't force my body to keep going. It was very, very weird. Um, but looking back, I'm like, what did I eat that day? How did I feel my body, you know? And then today I was like, okay, I gotta eat every couple hours. I gotta make sure I'm getting, you know, all my containers in. I need to start tracking my food again on my phone. And I crushed it tonight. Like I was so energetic and so I pushed those women so hard and it was so fun. And I felt like I was present in that workout. So make sure, um, you know, sometimes I'm like, oh, maybe I'll just drink my shake for dinner. You know, I want to feel, you know, skinny tomorrow or, you know, I want to look good for our retreat coming up next weekend. So I'm going to like not eat as much. No. Like that's not going to give you the results. Like your body needs to be fueled correctly to get the transformation, to build that muscle, to have energy and to survive every day. So I love that our team can give that tough love. I mean, we don't hold anything back. It's pretty amazing. <laughs> so, um, so a couple of things, I listened to a couple of things today and got a couple of pointers on kind of, I'm just gonna kind of talk about different things tonight. But ladies, this Fit Warrior thing for me is like, I look back and I'm like, wow, 
Like, this is my thing. Like, I'm going to get you girls to a class. Y'all got to come sometime. But I'm like, it's so crazy. Like, when I'm in the zone, like, I watch, I watch people, like, get up and speak in front of other, other people. And I, you know, like, Brittany and Carrie have their earring thing going on. You know, Brooke does her Zyra thing. Um, you know, uh, Becky has her homeschooling page. Like, we all have something that we are like, when we're in it, we're in it. Like we are made for this. Like I am made to run a workout class. Like I feel like I am in my zone. I am in where I need to be. Like I am, I feel like Hulk, you know? Like, but you have to find that and you have to explore that. I'm getting ahead of myself. So, okay. We all have the same products, right? We all have the same products. We're all selling the same thing. We're all putting Beachbody out there. But what we really need to be doing is selling ourselves, right? Because people are attracted to us. They're not attracted to Beachbody. Sometimes people don't even know what Beachbody is when they sign up for it. You know, they have no idea what the work arts are about. They don't even know what Beachbody On Demand offers them. The reason they're asking about Beach Body is because they're interested in us. You know, they watch our stories, they watch our feeds, they see what we're doing every day. They're interested in our life. So yes, it's good to post be, post about Beach Body and Beach Body products and everything like that, but you have to add your life into your post because you're selling yourself. People are going to start following you. Not because you're posting about Beachbody products. People are going to start following you because I do a live Fit Warrior class. And maybe they're interested in that. I had my first girl sign up tonight from, and guess what? She doesn't even go to the class. She's just part of the church. And she heard the announcement at church that I was a Beachbody coach. And she hasn't even came to one of the classes. And she signed up through Beachbody tonight. You know, but it's because I'm doing what I love and that's hosting the Fit Warriors. Okay, so you have to find something you love. You have to tell your story. And when we tell our story and we share with people what we do and what we like, then they're gonna start trusting us. And we've talked about trust several times. People don't know what Beachbody is. We may think that everybody knows what Beachbody is because this is what we do, this is our life. But no, not everybody knows what Beachbody is, but they trust us to, enough to plug them in to Beachbody and for us to coach them. But they're gonna earn that trust by following you and liking you. So an activity that you can do tonight is find your five, okay? Find five things that tell your story that you can start posting about. So your feeds aren't just about Beachbody and what programs next and what we're doing next. So are you interested? What are you interested in? What do you like to do? Okay, I'm posting about Fit Warriors. That has nothing to do with Beachbody. Okay, but that's my thing. Um, my hobbies. I like going camping. So I'm going to post about camping. You know, camping season's coming up. I'm going to post about that. I'm going to get some new followers that enjoy camping but not necessarily know about Beachbody. How about food? What's my favorite food? My family loves sushi. We have sushi every week. Like maybe I need to start posting more about sushi and what kinds I like and what flavor I like and how it tastes. And do I like it raw? Do I like it fried? You know, where do I buy it from? Maybe people will connect that way. Something goofy about me. I'm very unique. My Hair is always different. You know, what's something unique about yourself? Is it your laugh? You know, is it your, your jokes that you throw around? Is, you know, find something unique about yourself that people can connect to on social media. Um, and really just think about who you are. Who are you as a person? What tribe do you want to connect with? What tribe do you want to bring on your team? Because you're an entrepreneur, you're a coach. It's your choice 
who you plug in under you. It's your choice of who you hang out with. Uh, next, next weekend, woo, next weekend, <laughs> the Warrior Women Believers Retreat. I'm choosing who I'm going to kick it with next weekend and spend the weekend with. Like, how cool is that? Ugh, so exciting. You guys, we have to get excited about coaching. Um, beach body coaching. This is what I do, but it's not who I am. Okay. Beach body coaching is what I do. I enjoy it. I love it. But really, who is Tanil? You know, I'm a unique, fun, energetic person. So I need to share that on social media and not just share beach body all the time. Yes, it's good to send our invites out and our news feeds and make sure, you know, it's on our profile. This is what I do. This is who I am. But we need to start attracting people by who we are instead of a beach body coach. <sighs> All right, what are you good at, okay? So like Brittany, she just started her free group, you know, just to empower women. She felt that she was led to do that. She felt that she would be good at it and she's amazing at it, right? Okay, uh, so what are you good at? Becky, she's good at teaching homeschooling. Like that's crazy to me, but she's good at it. So she posts about it. You know, what are you good at? Ashley, she's good at being a new mom. So she posts about it all the time. Okay, what are you good at? Are you good at working? Are you good at sunbathing? Like, who are you, right? What are you good at? You gotta find it. You gotta find it and share it. And then we have to be, we've heard it before, product of the product. We have to be proof of the product, right? And it's just not about Shakeology. It's not about, you know, recharge, energize, mama juice. It's about programs too. Okay. If we're excited about the new programs that are coming out and we post about the new programs that are coming out, then that's going to get our customers and our current customers excited about what's to come. Beach body, you know, 30 day breakaways coming up. Are you doing it? It's the new program that's being put on Beachbody On Demand, okay? So I recommend that maybe you give it a try because it's new. Beachbody body is gonna blast it all over the place. What a great opportunity to recruit for that program. And if you don't do it now, when are you gonna fit it in? Because Beachbody is just gonna keep coming out with new programs, right? Let's get up. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Let's get up. Is coming out. Shanti program. When in May, I believe. Okay, you're not a dancer. Okay, that's fine. But try it anyway. Okay, bar blend when it came out. Maybe you weren't the ballet type. Try it anyways. You have to do what Beachbody is doing. And it's going to help you become successful. That's fine if you do your own thing. Do your own thing. I mean, you're an entrepreneur. You can do what you want, right? We're all grown. Do whatever you want. To. But I'm saying it's going to help you recruit. It's going to help you grow your team. It's going to help you and the other girls get excited. Okay, let's get up. Am I excited about it? Yes. Is it? you know, 80 day obsession, like I'm pumped for it and I'm ready to get results and ready. Probably not, but I'm still going to do it and I'm still going to be excited and I'm still going to recruit for this new program because that's what's new with Beachbody. Proof the product works. Product of the product, just not the supplements. Okay. It's full circle. Okay. Where was I? Transformations. We all have transformations, right? We all have transformations throughout each program. But honestly, if you go deeper, what other transformations do you have? Is it the debt you got out of 
because you changed your mindset? Is it the anxiety that you don't have anymore because you push play every day? Okay, we have to start being real with people, real and raw with people. People go through some bad crap. I go through some crap. You know, we have, we should probably start putting it out there. Um, if you don't want to put your business out there, that's fine. But I've had way more comments with my negative struggling posts than I have my positive posts. Like put your struggles out there. Everybody struggles. Be real with people. Let them know you're a recovering addict. Let them know you're an overcoming or overcomer of alcohol. Let them know that. Because you know what? I bet you they'll trust you and they'll be attracted to you. And they'll say, that's who I want to be. That's what I want to be like. If she can do it, I can too. So put it out there. Um, and then when we're posting and writing our stories on social media, you know, is it sitting on the toilet pot bent over and just kind of writing something out and like mm, I'll just post it or is it you got your shoulders back you're listening to some jams in the background or motivational video in the background with confidence you know writing up your post reading over it to make sure everything looks good and then posting how are you posting your content is it with a positive attitude or if it, or is it just to get something out there so make sure we take time in our posts make sure there's a reason for our post and we're just not putting it out there because it's been a couple days and we haven't gotten anything on our feed okay I try to have it meaningful and then your first sentence in your post so when you're at the grocery store and you're going through the aisles and you look at the magazines what strikes you? The sentence, the title, right? Like that's what strikes you when you have the newspaper. I don't even know if people get newspapers anymore, probably, but, and you go through the newspaper, okay? And you flip the page. You're only gonna read something that strikes you, a sentence, bold statement. So make sure that first sentence in your post is bold. Make sure it's something that will attract people that, um, by Ellen, <laughs> make sure it's something that's gonna attract people and they're gonna read that first sentence and be like, ooh, I wanna read this. What's this all about, okay? But people are like this, you know, through life. They're just zooming, scrolling. So what's something that you can throw in your post Really think about it. That's going to attract people and catch their eye. And ladies, we don't fail in this business. Okay. You don't fail in, in trying. Okay. Failing is trial and error. All you're doing is learning. So when you fail, you're learning of what works and what doesn't. Don't get down on yourself because. You know, you had a bad month. What'd you do different? What didn't you do that you've done in the past? Maybe you need to change it up. Maybe you need to step outside your comfort zone and start leveling up a little bit, okay? But you're not failing, okay? Trial and error. Try it, move on, okay, if it didn't work. And failure is just feedback, right? I mean, when something doesn't work, it's just feedback like, hey, it's Neil. That didn't work for you. Might want to try something else next time. Okay, it's just feedback. That's it. Don't get down about it. Move on to the next thing. Um, also, when you're on social media or you're and you're, you know, on to check your messages, do you get caught scrolling on social media? I do. I've been, I've actually been really bad at that here lately. I'm like, oh, I'm just on there. I just want to message on a couple of people's posts. Do I really do that? No, I'm just on there scrolling. I'm like, what do I have to read about? Like, no, time is valuable. I need to stay committed to why I got on social media 
us to jump on, check my messages, check in with a couple girls and move on. So we need to be careful that we're not um, scrolling. And it says, kill your newsfeed. That's what it says, kill your newsfeed, okay? Don't do it. Um, yeah, that's all, that's all the notes that I have. But um, I just want you girls to find, find what you love and roll with it. Try it out. Okay, if something didn't work one month, try it the next month. Okay, and listen, we we have our roller coasters in this business. I've been on it. I'm sure Jenny has, and maybe some of you other girls have been on it. I've been on the roller coasters of I'm high this month and I'm you know hitting success club and I'm working this business, and then months months go by and I don't even hit success club. But you have to keep going. You have to keep pushing yourself. What can you change? What can you do different? Okay. What haven't you done that, you know, you can start doing, but you have to think outside the box. You don't have, you can't let the downtimes be too down. You can't let the downtime, you can't be too hard on yourself. You're going to have roller coasters in this business. You're going to feel like, oh, why am I doing this? Why am I here? I only made 50 bucks this month. That's an extra $50. You know what some people would do with that $50? Okay, be thankful that you made that much. I've been riding on my team for the last how many months? Because I can't freaking hit success club. Like y'all been saving me the last couple of months, but I keep going. I'm not gonna give up because I can't get success club and can't get those challenge packs sold i'm trying to change it up what's next what's new what else can i do okay uh so don't give up on yourself and the time will pass right we're not going to stay in this season forever we're not going to stay stuck forever okay the sun will shine the stars will be out and we'll find that joy again we'll find that happiness again in this business Okay, we all go through it. Just stick with it. Okay. The tough people are who succeed, right? It's not easy sometimes, but if you stick it out, you'll get successful. Okay. And you'll keep going and you'll make it to the top. But you have to believe in yourself to do it too. Okay. Yes, you might have us to believe in you and maybe your family believes in you, but you have to believe in yourself. I want you to start doing that. Um, something that I want to end with already. <laughs> Sorry. But um, I want you to put your hand on your heart. Put your hand on your heart. Okay. And I want you to repeat after me. I am enough. Ready? I am enough. I can do this. Ready? I can do this. People need me. Ready? People need me. It's my time. Ready? It's my time. Ladies, you are capable. Okay. We are all capable of making it to the top. If it's taken you a while, guess what? That's okay. As long as you keep going. All right. This is fun. This is a fun freaking journey. Like I get to work on myself and live a healthy lifestyle plus helping others and making a little income doing a hobby like that's the life like i don't want my days just to pass by you know i don't want to get up in the morning and have to run around and run my kids around and run to sports and run to work and do all this thing and allow life to pass by and then what like, I am enjoying this. 
enjoy this journey. If you are stuck and you're feeling like you can't, you know, keep doing this, find the joy in it again. Remember that why that you had back when, when you started this, okay? Maybe that will get you happy and joyful again. Maybe you need to find a different why. Maybe it's time to move on to something different. Why are you still doing this? Okay, but we have to have fun and we have to find those fun moments and we gotta keep going and we have to believe in ourselves. Okay, that's all you get. <laughs> pow, pow. What is it? Poo, 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 poo. <laughs> pew, pew, pew. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I love that. That was cool. And, uh, you know, it's funny, even like a reminder for me, for real, um, it is because sometimes it's like, who I've been here for some years and you know, like I look back and I'm like, sometimes I can look at it and go, wow, I've come so far. And some days I can look at it and go, this is all the farther I've gone. <laughs> like, you know, it just depends what day it is, what, how it hits me. And the, the important part is that I just haven't given up whether I've been moving slow sometimes or fast sometimes. And that's so true because sometimes I've had, I've had months where I've had, you know, 30 girls join me. And then I've had months where zero girls join me. I have had that, you know, and, um, and it's so true. And it's your, your job to kind of find the middle ground in it all, you know, like it just like what you said, like, don't let those lows be too low on those months that you're like, why am I doing this? Why am I struggling? Because you have to look back. And remember also those months when you were on your highs and you were like, this is it. I'm in my gift. I'm, I'm living it. And if you can just try and bring those down and those up and just try to find that middle ground in between this is going to be made for you like sticking out the hard times writing out even kind of sometimes the stagnant times right like there's going to be stagnant moments where you have like we're coming off of nine week control freak and it was like uh thankfully they're they're putting in 30 day breakaway and i can jump on that because if not you know, I mean, I guess I would have done off the wall. I would have had to find something, right? You were kind of a search thing. And sometimes they have these moments. They've gotten a lot better about filling in those little moments. It's almost like they're starting to recognize, hmm, if people are done with them, we can feel free. They're going to need something within two weeks to do something else. And so they're really getting better a lot about pumping out something for us at all times as well. And so you're going to have to learn to start changing with that. It's not do a program sit and chill anymore right it's do a program yo next week we're doing something else get in the bod group you know it's like we're moving on because we're starting everybody's starting to realize oh beach body on demand is instant access that means when i go through a program i want something else that next week to press play on and i think beach body is starting to catch up with that too so just know that beach body or beach body on demand is five years young you know it's super super new and it's going to be growing and growing and growing it's only going to get better i always think that you guys even when we were talking about beach body going um public and getting into possibly like cycling and all these other like entities like i know i took a um a or probably, well i'm probably not supposed to say this but i took a survey for like cbd and all this stuff um from beach body and i was kind of like oh that was a while ago and I haven't quite heard anything for a while, but I just thought that was interesting. Like, wow, are they going to get into that? And so you never know truly where Beachbody is going to go. And I know, but I know that they have big ambitions. I know that Carl is not a man of small words. He is a man of big, huge dreams and visions. And I can only imagine what he envisions with going public and having this entity and having each body be able to take investors and have more income, you know, to be able to do stuff with. And so I'm, I love that too. And you remind us like, you have to be excited about this. Like, if you're not excited, why would anybody want to join you? Right? Like, I think we watched that video last week. She was like, your, your like challenge groups needs, needs to be a party that people want to be at. And if you're not at, you missed out and they have FOMO. Like I have been really trying to apply that to like my booty work challenge ever since we did that last week. I was like, I'm going to take this group into 
party mode. Like I want it to be like, yo, if you're not there, you are missing out. And that's how I'm talking about it on my social media and my stories. I'm like, woo, just got off my booty work challenge. <laughs> you didn't do it. Da, da, da. You know, like I just think of it as like, how would I want to like, Honestly, this is what I think back is when I first saw my coach in this massage therapist group, the reason why I was like, who is this girl is because of the energy she had in this random video that she posted in a massage therapist group. And I watched it and I went, dang, I need her type of energy. And because she came out of a massage, she was going, yeah, guys, I just got out of a massage and I'm feeling so amazing. I'm feeling that. I just got to give to my client. And, and I was like, where the heck is that energy? And like, how do I get that? So when I think about the people I want to attract, I think back on what attracted me, what got me going I think I need that. <laughs> it was energy. I needed energy at the time. This girl provided it. So I wanted what she had. So now when I think about how I'm projecting my talent group and what I want, it's energy. It's high vibes. It's like, I'm bringing the noise to you because I know that's what I was attracted to. So that's what my people are probably going to be attracted to as well. So that's what I'm bringing. So you have to kind of also look back, step back out of your journey for a second and go, what got me here? Like, what was it that I saw in my coach or in Jenny or in Beachbody or in myself that I liked when I was in this or around it or saw it or experienced it what was that and then find your way to authentically project that too because if that's what attracted you that is also what's going to attract your people okay but sometimes you got to take that step back to go what even was it you know what was it and to me i have this ingrained like word in my head of i need her energy like literally you guys i tell this all the time like i didn't even know that what i ordered came with workouts i just needed shakeology because she told me it would give me energy and i was like yeah i'll take that <laughs> i was like i don't even care like i pulled out the boxes like what are these containers i don't even know i'm like dvds whatever i was like i don't care about any of that she's like no 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 i think you should actually do the 21 day like challenge and i was like okay whatever sure sure you know i'll do it for fun but i was like i need shakeology because i need energy and so now looking back five years later like that I'm that energy I'm that energy that like I saw in her I have literally formed myself into what I liked about her and I'm like super proud about that okay like I took the time to do the work to be the person that I saw that I liked I was like man I I want to be that like, I want to be when, when somebody watches my video or pops into my social media, that they're like, man, that girl's got a lot of energy. Like, I wanted people to say that about me. And so I had to do the work to get there. I'm five years in, you guys. But I, I'd say I bring pretty good energy. <laughs> you know, I've been going to bed at 9 o'clock. So right now at 8.50, I'm a little tired. I'm not going to lie about that. But, <laughs> but I still feel like, wow, I'm doing it. You know, um, but I had to, I had to know, I had to go back and figure out what it was I liked. What was it that originally brought me to this? I love that you reminded me of that, Tineo. It's just like, what brought you here? You know, and, and is that what's still going to keep you here? Or do you need to, to bring it into something else? Like, you know, maybe this was your original reason, but you found new purpose in it or, um, you know, and what got you here may not get you here. We've heard that before, too. So find a way to always recognize what got you here. But ask yourself, too, is this what's what I still want? Is this what's still going to keep me here? And is this going to be enough to get me to that next level? Well, how can I you know, so for me, it was like, how can I bring energy? But now 
how can I help other girls have energy? How can I help other girls bring that kind of experience? Not just me, but how can I pass that energy on? Now, how can I get you guys to maybe have that too or something? So it's like, it's grown from where it originally started. So um, that's super cool. I'm actually gonna let you guys go um, early today because we usually run way over. So today I'm like feeling really good that we like crammed all of that information <laughs> into 50 minutes feeling really good about that so again you guys bummer for summit but i have plans for us okay just stick with me for a few days until i can get it all ironed out and we can make sure that we find a good place um uh what was the other one? Oh, taxes if you have questions about taxes or you need any help i think alicia had said that she had already filed hers and so if we need questions maybe she'd be a good person to go to i also think melissa does she like works at a, like a tax office so maybe i could ask her a few questions if we need anything i'm sure there's a couple lawyers in here i think kelsey gibson also does taxes as well so i know that like you guys i know that we've got us covered like we are warriors like everybody you guys know that there's like a warrior for like everything in here <laughs> so i know that we have a couple girls that could help us out if we need help with that okay um also Kristen had asked me um if we could write off fabletics which i would wrote her back personally but also you guys you can write that stuff off that's all stuff like i printed off all my Fabletics orders and I'm adding that in. So if you order like workout clothes or you went to um, TJ Maxx and bought weights or anything like that, you guys, all of that stuff is included. You bought a weight rack. I know a lot of you guys bought a weight rack this year. Make sure you're writing all that down or keeping track of it. That stuff's all that you can write off. And maybe right now you don't need a ton of write-offs, but it's great to get into the habit because maybe one year your business takes off and all of a sudden you make a crap ton of money and you were keeping track of any of your taxes. And so now you have no write-off. So this is just something that I think is just best for us to get in the habit of doing. As we get larger, it'll just be easier and easier for us to keep track of. Because okay, I see us getting larger. So I know if we can get the business side down here, then when we get bigger, it'll just be something that we can also teach our future coaches to just come right into. Okay. All right, ladies. Um, thank you. Thank you for everything. I appreciate you guys. I see you guys have been working super hard out there. I, it does not go unnoticed at all. Um, I think the only thing we have coming up since next week so next week alicia i have you on the team call and then tenille's believer retreat and then we start 30 day breakaway so that's kind of the next couple like week and a half or so um and then we have a full moon gathering at the end of the month too and then tenille i think you had a coach sneak peek in at the end of the month so we'll keep kind of um i'm going to update my schedule here and we'll look at that next week all right, ladies, have a good night. Thank you for everything. I appreciate it. Thanks, Tanil, for all the inspo. I needed it. <laughs> Bye, guys.